Hi brothers and sisters, this is John Casilag and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Today's Gospel is taken from the 10th chapter of the book of Mark, verses 46 to 52. In this remarkable story of faith rewarded, here was the blind man Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, making a scene as Jesus and his disciples made their way out of Jericho. The accounts have him shouting, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And as the crowds tried to silence him, all the more did he shout, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus heard, stopped, called for him, and asked, What do you want me to do for you? Hearing only his assuring voice, Bartimaeus then answered, Lord, I want to see. The response of Jesus was about to change his life. Scriptures say that, and I quote, Go on your way, your faith has saved you. He received his sight and followed Jesus on the way. Brothers and sisters, imagine being this man, living in darkness for much of his life, likely scorned, likely ignored, if not ridiculed by many, begging for scraps, and trying only to survive on day to day. Imagine being this man having no means to make a decent living. Then here comes this small window of opportunity and out of desperation, shouts at the top of his lungs, hoping that Jesus would hear him. Well, Jesus did hear. And Jesus responded with a miracle which might have become ordinary to many of his disciples but went on to change this man's life. A few thoughts, my dear brothers and sisters, on this good Sunday. First, believe that Jesus loves you and has your interest in his heart. This means that we're called to have faith, as Bartimaeus did, that regardless of the difficulty of our circumstances, these will all get sorted out in a way that best serves us. Romans 8.28 reminds us, that to them that love God, all things work together for good. Second, ask. Jesus knows our deepest needs and wants. He knows our deepest desires. And while he can give many of these things in a snap, the act of asking allows us to grow in humility and allows our faith to turn to action. Bartimaeus was asking. And he was asking so loud and hard that the crowds and Jesus needed to notice. We are all being called, not into timidity, but into a strong and passionate belief that God can do for us the best that is needed by us. Ours is not some hope against hope, my dear brothers and sisters, but confidence in what the love of God can do for us. Third, Receive. Our church teaches that, well, in whatever form, grace is a gift undeserved, freely given by the Lord out of great love for us. Grace is offered, and that means that given our free will, grace can also be rejected. Well, in the case of Bartimaeus, this benefit might have been obvious. Sometimes the gift of God is a bit more subtle. It might actually be a bit more patience when our children become very difficult. It might be a chance to show generosity when we are gifted with a little bit more resources, especially in this great time of need. Or it might be an offer to take on service for the people of God. Last, give thanks. Acknowledge the goodness of the one whose gift you have received. Acknowledge by Taking action after you receive these gifts, whether by telling others, following Jesus as Bartimaeus did, or by using these gifts for the good of others. Giving thanks should not simply be about mouthing our gratitude, but it is best put into action that allows others to see the face of Jesus in us. Jesus asks us today, what do you want me to do for you? Well, maybe today we can respond by saying, Lord, 
Help me to become Bart. B A R T. Help me to believe. Help me to ask. Grant me humility to receive. And let my heart overflow with thanks. God loves you, Kapatid. And today, remember that He will do all that is needed for you to experience that love in a very personal way. And if you're blessed, do like and share this page so that many more may hear about this great, great love of God. God bless you.